All right, I'm gonna make a video of my haul from Friday morning. Man, I'm so happy and proud of this haul. Uh, this is the same picture or same system I posted a picture of on Facebook uh, Friday morning. But man, 70 bucks for this. I could not believe this. Well, let me go ahead and back up a little bit. So Thursday night, I'm surfing on Craigslist, you know, putting in some keywords, you know, as you always do. Uh, there was kind of a vague ad there, vague. Uh, it was, I don't know, there was a word vintage or something. I saved that ad. I'll, I'll put it probably in the back of this video. You could tell they really didn't know what they had. And I looked at their pictures for the garage sale, and I could see this silver-faced receiver way in the back, you know, and I thought, man, that looks like a Pioneer. The turntable was sitting on top, you know, it looked like a Pioneer turntable too. But both of these speakers were on the side, and uh, I thought the logical thing is they would be HPM 100s, which they are, but they look too tall from the picture. At the time, I didn't know they were sitting on these cool little stands, vintage smoked, like plexiglass type stands. So I saw that the night before, you know, I, thought, I didn't think too much about it, you know, but it just kind of kept calling me, having a hard time sleeping that night. I got up, you know, and then I still wasn't sure about this garage sale, but it was still calling me. And if you're a digger, you know what I mean, you know, you get that call. So anyway, hopped in the truck, I headed over there. I got there 15 minutes before they were supposed to open up. And guess what? They were already open. There were people in there. I saw the stereo way in the back, so I made a beeline to it. Normally I won't do that. If there's not a lot of people there, I kind of take my time getting to items. You know, I don't want them to let them know I'm too interested in something. So this time I had to just go right to it. Otherwise I would have browsed at some other non-related things. I got there, started looking at it, and another guy walked in behind me about 30 seconds later. Started taking off the speaker uh, grill. And man, I got really nervous. So I said, whose garage sale is this? How much is it? <laughs> So the guy walked over and I asked him how much and he said $70. So you know my first thought is he's saying $70 just for the receiver because I know how much it's worth. But you, you're always negotiating price, I mean as you're walking up there. So here's my second phase of negotiating. For all of it, I said, <laughs> even though I would have gladly paid $70 just for that, but he said yes. And once he said that, I said, okay, I'll take it. You know, I didn't even negotiate then. I kind of lost my mind there, you know. Uh, you know, I lost my game there a little bit. But still, $70 for this. Low end on this is $1,100 on rough condition, but working. So I made a grand on this. And I didn't even try it out, didn't test it or anything. Because I knew I could part this out and get my money back many times over just parting it out. When I got home Friday, just the dust cover sold for $85. So man, I was just way ahead of the game right there to begin with. And it sounds good. I haven't cleaned it up. I haven't deoxid it or anything like that. I did notice there was some tape on here. Sorry. A little bit of scotch tape there and some residue down there. I'm thinking apparently they had some tape trying to hold that multi-path button down because there's some bad contacts in there or was, but I'll, I'll move those back and forth in and out and it's starting to work pretty good now. But I'm going to go through and deox all these switches. I don't know if I said yet, this is a Pioneer SX 1050, 125 watts per channel, three speakers three pairs of speakers you can use. That's some filter switches here, uh, 30 hertz and what does that say, six or eight kilohertz, multi-path switch, uh, FM muting, AM, FM, phone 01, phone 02, which is also for the microphones, and an auxiliary input, muting, volume, loudness control, uh, mode is stereo or mono, balance, an adapter, that's for an EQ or, or, or whatever you want to put in the signal path. Uh, two monitors, a duplicate switch, duplicate, 
you can send a signal from you know one monitor to the other uh, tone controls two treble knobs two bass tone off and on power switch headphones I think all the lights work Some FM going there I don't have an antenna hooked to it so I'm just barely getting a signal a stereo signal but man this is 125 watts 125 1970 watts and that's crazy loud Just as I want to crank it up, they switch songs on me. Speakers are in good shape. Hadn't cleaned up the cabinets. The turntable is a PL530. I have one of these. It has the normal stuff. Arm up, repeat, stop, start. Uh, switch it to manual mode. 12 inch, 10 inch, 7 inch. Here's the speed control. I think the speed is a little bit off. This may need some deoxid or something. I hope it's something simple. But it's playing fairly close to the right speed. The speakers, they're HPM 100s. They're four way speakers. Let's see. This one, yeah, it was this one. It has a little bit of dirt right there. Haven't tried to clean that off yet. Let's see if we can get this off. Pretty cool looking speakers. I have some HPM 150s, like the big brother of these. I also have an SX 1280, another big brother of this. It's 165 watts. I've always wanted to bring that system in here, but this is this room, I'm, it just can't handle it, I don't think. Those speakers are huge, HPM 150s, the next size up, they're probably like four feet tall. But it's nice to hear some proper speakers in here for a change. Normally what I listen to in here are these Bose Acoustamass speakers. And there's a subwoofer behind those cassettes right there, just kind of tucking it out of the way. If I'm not using the Bose, I'm using these Yamaha bookshelf speakers. And there's four of these, one in each corner. What we're listening to is Uriah Heap, Sonic Origami. Who has one of these on vinyl? Also has some Deep Purple. Oops. Uh, the new Deep Purple LP, supposedly it comes out tomorrow. I know the CD is already out. I think it's called What Now? I love these old bands that are still putting out new material. when he sold this to me for 70 bucks he was just so happy to get the 70 bucks he he really must have thought he ripped me off because he hauled all this stuff out to my truck and he loaded it up for me what a great deal i think i'm going to hold on to it also after i bought the, that stuff i came back to his garage sale or locked my truck up and came back to the to his garage sale to see what he had and he also had this in here, and this is a Pioneer RG9. It's a dynamic processor. Basically, it makes the uh, louder parts of the music louder and the quieter parts of the music quieter, which is uh, great, especially nowadays, when all the CDs and even the records, it seems like they're all just recorded as loud, as loud as they can get it, which sucks, you know, all the dynamics is missing. And this helps put some of that back. Also picked up these tapes. I saw this Sony Metal. I thought, hey, these are cassettes, but well, it's video cassettes. It's video eight, eight millimeter tapes. Uh, he had another brick of sealed cassettes. It's easy to find sealed cassettes. 
it's just hard to find a big variety because you know I like to collect different varieties of cassettes. I have a lot of different ones up there. And there was one DAT tape. It's kind of out of place. I bought a big box of DAT tapes the weekend before. There's been a lot of DATs here lately. But anyway, I paid $15 for this and all those tapes. And got, like I say, the free carry out. Well, that's it. You know, you find all this good stuff and uh, you know, it's not random. You know, I'm searching around through uh, Craigslist and the estate sale sites, you know, and, and looking to see what they have, trying to catch some something in a picture, something in the wording of what they're selling. And I find some good stuff, but what amazes me is these garage sales that probably don't advertise on Craigslist or any advertising of some other estate sales, what they're selling, you know? What, I'm, what am I missing out there, you know? It's gotta be a small percentage, I would think, that actually put the ad on Craigslist for a garage sale. So, uh, as happy as I am to find all this, it still amazes me. What else is out there? What did I miss? What did I drive by? Because I'm going to this one specific garage sale. Oh well, that's what I have, that's what I got. Big happy haul here. And I've got tons and tons of raw footage of videos that I've made going out digging and everything. I just need to get it all together and start uploading videos again. I don't know, I'm just kind of going on and on for no good reason here.